What's up guys, I'm Patty Mayo, welcome to The Hunt. Before we get started, we have a sponsor for this episode, my bookie. Now, I don't want you just to watch some stupid ad because that people would just flick past that. But in this ad, specifically, I'm gonna blow something up. I'm gonna shoot a flashbang. But not before I tell you about the new improved my bookies casino experience. You don't need to wear pants. All you need is a keyboard, a computer, maybe a mouse, maybe not. Some people can do all the things with the keyboard just by itself. Or maybe your lips. Maybe your computer listens to you with your lips. Then you just need a monitor and some lips. All right? They have all the different table games like Black Jack, roulette, in addition to the standard buy bookie stuff that you're already used to, sports betting, right? You bet on everything. Now they're just expanding and it's more improved. Plus, you can use co- It's not like I'm doing an intro here, bro. Your fucking chicken's going nuts. Plus, if you use promo code Patty Mayo, you're gonna get a generous bonus. Now, I don't even know what that bonus is. They just told me, use code Patty Mayo, get generous bonus. I'm like, what's a generous bonus? So you're gonna have to find out. So you're gonna have to find out what that generous bonus is. I bet you it's generous. Let me know in the comments if it's freaking generous. I better be generous. And I told you I'd be generous by shooting this thing. Hmm, what is safe? I wish my bookie would take bets on this. So go to the link in the description, join my bookie today, get your gambling experience elevated. My bookie, the results are explosive. Did I hit his car? Get the fuck out of here. I hit his car. Scoop up it up, you're watching me drive. I like naps. What's that? HK for A. It's the fing cops. Open the door. All right, that's enough. What's up, guys? I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to the hunt. And thanks to you members out there that like watching these videos early. Look what we did with your money. Got ourselves a DJI Matrix 30T. That's right, folks. It's a Matrix 30T. Has a thermal camera on the front, has a range finder, has a 200 digital zoom on it. This thing can see you fart from four miles away. But you know what it really can do? Yesterday when I was testing it out, we videoed and saw a guy take a poop in a cup and then throw it, discard it. I'm gonna show you the video because it exists. It's real. That happened. That, that happened. It's first, like second or third flight. Oof. So um, in addition to uh, Kobos, we now have a little bit more of an advanced drone. The difference between this one and like uh, anything else in the market, just go look it up. I, this is not a freaking DJI commercial, okay? I barely like the guys to begin with, and I paid full price for it, so I can say that, okay? No sponsorships here. No free rides on this horse. All right, speaking of horse, we get the BBC Big Bone Cumin, Harvey. That's all. Do you have a last name? Yeah. What is it? Raft? <laughs> Floats. <laughs> Middle name Floats. All right, today, Harvey, what are we going after? A guy. Trevor, what's his name? Jarquez Simmons, six foot tall, 160 pounds. Attempted He's currently GTA. wanted for GTA. Attempted GTA, uh, guy got caught trying to steal a car outside of, post, outside of a post office. That's a funny thing to see in an Uber, huh? Hi. Yeah. Um, we're going to address of record. Going to address of record. Going to try to pick him up. Obviously, we are with Dutch Bright today, not with the uh, with the BEA. All right, guys, let's go see what the day brings us. If he if if it goes six hours and he runs at night. Oh, and Blythe, look at this, Mr. Kobos in his air conditioned personal unit back here. Life. Always oh, showing them the cage. We finally got the the dog kennel cage installed in Pat's vehicle, which is nice. It gives Kobos his own space, so he's not uh, pushing the buttons um, and dr jumping out of the car when Pat leaves his door open, which is very helpful. We have not installed our cage yet, but Vinny is caged in in the back. She has a very cozy back seat that she hangs out in, fully air conditioned. Spends most of her time taking naps in between calls. Like me. 
I like naps. One of you guys want to take the ball? I have the ball. Gracias. I believe, I believe the children are future. This is incredibly uncomfortable. It's right on it. And pushing that ball, that, that pocket. just had emergency appendix surgery, an appendectomy. And my appendix was like, I don't give a anymore. I'm out. I'm calling it in. This is the end of the line. Our target location should be at the top of the street on the right. Boop, boop, it up. Scoop boop it up, you're watching me drive when I have a little less poop. Over White House, two, two cars, cars, I'm gonna, gonna block the Hyundai. Copy, light it up. Copy, light it up. Harvey jump six. Uh, Harvey jump the six. Copy that. We have two doors under that carport. Copy. You get visual on the back? Yeah, two doors in the six. T, I'm gonna knock the front. You wanna keep an eye on the... What's that? I got two doors right you there. You gonna cover those doors? I have an open back door, by the way. Copy, open back door. Knocking. Also, Harvey, how come your lights aren't on? You notice the difference between your units and our units? I'm in cognito mode. Housekeeping for ass. Housekeeping for ass. HK for A. It's the fucking cops. Open the door. What's that? Let me put my clothes on. What's your name? Demetrius. Demetrius, I'm looking for Jaquez. Hello, give me a minute. Let me put my clothes on. Hurry up. Male inside says his name is Demetrius and he is naked. He's going to put clothes on. Give me a last name and I can run him. Huh? If you can give me a last name, I'll run him. We'll get there. A 
I should have put on sunglasses. Yeah, you should have. I have extras. Hey, hey sir, how you doing? My name is Corporal Mayo with the Sheriff's Office. I'm looking for Jacarez. Ja I'm probably gonna say his name wrong. It begins with a J and it's got a Q in it. It sounds like Jacarez. You know who I'm talking uh, about. Jacquez. There you go, Jacquez. Is he home? Actually, he just moved to his own um, brother house. He moved probably to maybe a week ago. Um, he said it would have been better for being over here where his mom at. Mm. And who's, uh, whose car is that in the, uh, in the blue one in front of it? That's my car. Yeah. And the blue car is, it don't even work. It so don't work? Yeah, sooner or later it'll be towed from over there. All right, can you show me that his room's out of here and that he's moved his belongings? Uh, well, and then we can and we can take it from there. But as it sits, I have a warrant for him and his address with the court is this address. So I need evidence to take this away from the court. OK, so since he doesn't have a room here anymore. Yeah, I, can, I need to verify that. Ain't I'm enough to verify. What's that? Isn't I'm enough to verify? Well, hearsay isn't verification, just like it's not probable cause. OK, so I need verification. So you show me this used to be his room. I see that there's no his belongings around there, that type of thing. I'm out here doing a forensic investigation. I'm not bringing CSI out. I just have to do a little bit of due diligence beyond hearsay. Alrighty, so can I see the warrant? Yeah. I mean, if you can produce the warrant, then we can go forth now. Yeah, can you, you have to come to my truck to see it? All right, hold on. Yeah. Just give me one minute. Actually, I can, no, I can get it on a tab. Or can you bring me your tablet? I can, bring, I can show it to you on a tablet. How much do you think one of those trash machines can lift? That kind of looks like a fun job, though. That guy is a professional crane game. So I truly, um, can you just explain to me a little bit uh, what's, what's this for, like, as far as... Yeah, the, it, the, well, the, warrant, the warrant's actually going to have it all on here. Okay, so that's his picture right there, right? Mr. Okay. Simmons. Just give me a second. We're going to click on this warrant. You see it was for attempted GTA. It was issued on 4-4. So you can see there's the arrest warrant. And it's for attempted GTA. And it's signed by Jeffrey Bellinchamp. Okay. Right, you understand? So you could be in trouble if he's inside, right? I mean, I do understand that. Okay, as long as we're on the same can, page. Can you give me a chance to go grab my phone, come back out here, talk to you guys a little bit more before you actually come inside the house? No. There is one more person who house this is, and I have to get verification from her in order for You said this is your house. You live here, so you can yeah, give me permission. I do, but... That sounds to me like he's inside and you're trying to delay me. No. Are you trying to delay me? Nope. I'll arrest you I'm for harboring a fugitive. It's a felony. That's understood. Yeah. But, uh, so I need to go inside right now and I need to check to see if he lives here or if he's not here. And that's it. That's what's going to happen. So am I going to walk you guys through the house? Or sure. Or are you going to just dodge around through the house? I'm not going to detain you. If we get to that point, we get to that point. But right now, I'm not going to detain you. And how long has he been... Uh, there's a lot of questions. You, there's a lot of questions, brother. Yeah, and in my I mean, in my industry, that's what we call delay. I mean, that's understandable, but that's, with something delay. that I don't know, and then having people that I don't know come into my house, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have a whole lot of questions too. Yeah, but I already answered all the questions that could have been answered. Okay, so can police you officers here looking for a guy with the warrant. You asked for the warrant. You saw the warrant. What more do you want? What more could so, you possibly he's want? He's offering the ability for you to walk through the house with us. Okay, anything you continue to do that delays us from coming in the house, anything that you continue to do that delays us from verifying that he's not here, puts us in a different degree of danger, okay? Every time you delay, it gives the opportunity, if he is in there, to get a weapon, to fortify himself, to do things that could cause us harm. So the fact that you just continue to delay at the door is a hostile act. Do you understand that? So at this time, you're going to want to open the door, invite us in and show us around, or we're going to go ahead and assume that you are attempting to help him not get captured. Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? The 
fact that you speaking to me civilized and nice, yeah. I will cooperate. Okay. We have permission. So open the door for me. Yeah, we just got permission to go on the front. I appreciate it, man. I'm just trying to explain to you why why we start to get antsy at the door when someone is is delaying us coming in. You know, there's so many things that can happen inside All right, that can cause us problems. That's understood. All right, question. So how long have you guys been doing this? A long time. And how many people have you had done the same exact thing at the door that I'm doing? Usually if they do, what they do at the door this is the same that you're doing. Our guy's inside and he's finding a place to hide or he's causing, you know, he's getting a weapon. Are you on probation or parole? No. Do you have an ID? Not on me at this moment. Okay, first and last name. I mean, name. since Demetrius, Demetrius Jenkins. Jenkins? Yep. Okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll just, yeah. no, run him afterwards. Okay. So, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Watch his hands. So, we can start from the rooms all the way to the back. Okay. And then we can work out. Where, where, where did he used to stay? Um, over time, we all change rooms. So it's like one year we are here, the next few months. If one okay, where's the most recent switch, room right? he was staying in? Do you want me to hold here? Or you want me to come, Pat? Hold. We've got a lot. This was the recent room he was staying in, but now his sister moved in this room. Okay. Uh, it's one of his sisters. Um, How many people live in the house? Three overall. Three overall, okay. Uh, and then what's in there? It's the bathroom. Okay. I'll go this way. Okay. Thanks. You with me, T? I'm with you. You need me back? Because there's two large areas back here, too, that are in. Come on. What's this room? Uh, this is my aunt's room. This is one of the heads of the house, if not the head of the house. OK. So this is her room. Does that go outside? Uh, yeah. This is the back door. Okay. I mean, the, uh, the bathroom. OK. Andy trying to keep it fresh. Didn't even want to take the energy guide sticker yeah. off there. Hey man, that's what old school man do, man. keep plastic on the couch. So this room's female. Uh, right. That room is female. Okay. That forward room is female. This is all female. This whole side. Yeah, it, everything's been female. Yeah. Okay. Furnace. That's gonna go to the carport. All right. All right. What you know, kitchen. I would they put a handle on the wrong side of the fridge. Don't make no sense. What is up with people in Florida don't wear don't have Coke? Listen, man, I'm a Pepsi person, so You don't even have that. You got silk. Hey, hey, stay with us, please. It's good milk. Silk. Listen, silk is not milk. I don't like silk. I'm just saying. All right. Silk is not now, that's not even is, milk. This is my room. Okay. This is the room I sleep in. How many kids stay here? It's only, like I said, it's only three. Only three people, but- Okay, but I, I saw a lot of kids, like the ball pits oh, and the kids um, stuff. Oh, my aunt's grandson come over here. She yeah, has grandson. two sons. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> hope it doesn't break when we just open it. All right. Let me secure under that bed. All right, so what we're all gonna do, go ahead and step up. So listen, is that car, that, no, that carport goes outside, T? Yeah, right here. Yeah, it goes out to the side door. Okay. So I don't know if you hey, guys- Hey, everybody outside. Step outside. Everybody outside. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a canine sweep and then we're good to go. Okay. Sir, step over here. Talk to my partner. He's gonna bring his canine out just to go through the house and I just don't want to put you in danger. Your best bet is to stand kind of off my flank. I mean, it really don't matter which area I step in, I'm still be in a flank area. So no, I mean, flank. on my flank, here. If I put you back over here behind me a little bit, the dog, 
I'm trying to keep you. Would it be better if we go over there? No, right here's good. Right here. You don't want to be over there. Oui. Sheriff's Office of the K-9! If you're inside, make yourself known now, you can get bit by my dog! Sheriff's Office K-9! Make yourself now, now, you can be bit by my dog! I understand that, but we, with your hands in your pockets, it causes me nerves, okay? That's cool, I have nothing there to you go. I, I got to show you. Yep, back this way, please. Back this way, please, sir. Sheriff's Office of the K-9! Make yourself known! My dog will find you! He will bite you! Suk. I'm gonna say something here. Suk. Here, here. Go oh, here. Suk. Schwager. Here. Off. I got one right here. Off. You probably want to stay out of the cone of the door. Stay here, here. Do not go in that house, dude. That dog will bite the f out of you. I promise you, that dog will bite the f out of you. you act like Got you it? Use that on me. I'm trying to save your fucking life. You need to stay the f out here. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Give me your hands, bro. Give me both of them. Who's that bad man? Who's that bad man? Who's that bad man? Who's that bad man? Here. Who's that bad man? Where is he? Where's that bad man? Where's that bad man? Schwager. Schwager. Off. Let me see both your hands out. I drop tell me what the f to do and show me your f hands. Show me your f hands. Schwager. Show me your hands or I'll send them. Harvey, let me get you out with uh, Trevor and let me get help inside. Okay, I'm going around. Hold it down, hold it down. Hands up, don't worry about fixing shit. You just worry about keeping your hands where you're supposed to keep them. If your hands drop, I'm sending my dog, you understand? Hold it down, make sure you Don't tell me what the f to do. This dog holds himself. You can lay down right there. Lay down right there. Schwager. Schwager. How many other people are in here? Oh, no, ain't the Ain't the Oh, you want me to send my dog over there to check? Here. Go boss here. Off! Blyfe! All right, go for cuff on him. Copy. I'm gonna have him hold this room. Blyfe! Arms. Uh, uh, uh. On your stomach. Give me this. Great. What the fuck is this? Turn, turn. Okay. Turn on your hip. Turn on your hip. Rotate up to your butt. Stand up. Turn around. Right here. Come on, guys. Go on the floor. They ain't got nothing on me. Don't scare the police. You're scared of the police? Yeah, what type of bad is in there? Uh huh.
Good boy. Good boy. You got that bad man. Good boy. Do not f***ing make any sudden moves, okay? You move suddenly, I let go of these cuffs, he lets go of that dog. Great. Right, cut too tight. Great. Loosen the cuffs up. The police only have this tight. Uh huh. Harvey. Think about it, bro. Think about what? You doing a detective job for them. I can give you the same amount they finna give you right now. They finna uh -huh. tell you thanks for doing our job. Great. I can give you the money. Go, ass in. Loose Go. You just want to get in? Come on, man. You got a big guy who doesn't want to get in. So I got him. Oh, look. Man. Have a good day. Close it. Have a good day. <laughs> I put my glasses now. Better not knocked off my sunglasses. So what happened outside? Nothing. The dog alerted and he tried to run in behind you. Oh, nice. So we got into a little scuffle. That's nice. She just let him bite. All he was grabbing and pulling down. I just didn't want to go in the house and get get people bit. Then he's driving. <laughs> I did, Kobo's definitely would have stopped him in his tracks from coming up behind me. Well, all I know is I wasn't going to allow you to get Hi. someone coming up behind you. So. Suk. 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 See, he's not barking anymore. There's just no, no strong scent around him. Did he hit right on her? Huh? He hit the room right next to him. And then he started, he, he said, hold the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Checking all the rooms. He flushed the toilet, just in case. Okay, good job, four legged. Four legged, off, life. All right, guys, that's gonna about do it for this one. We're gonna get that pulled down to uh, down to jail. I'm, I'm not sweating, I'm not excited or anything. I think all these, these pain meds that got me on just to get me patty mellow. Uh, didn't get to break a door or anything. I, I didn't get to break anything. Boy, those don't do this bad. I'm Patty Mayo. We'll see you on the next one. Ready for nonstop DBSO action? Click join to become a member and watch hours of unreleased episodes right now. Make you get your satisfaction with Mayo. Down, 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 down. Whoopsies. Don't chew on top, on top, on top. You like that? Want more DBSO? Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a premiere and your chance at a free membership. Catch the other side of the action for free on Patty Mayo.